Hallelujah. I've grown enough to marry her. Sheba. So, but have waited for them to come and call her to, 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 to be married to Sheba. Nobody's coming. Then the wife of Judah dies. When the wife dies, it came to a certain time that the time of mourning for the wife was over. When the time of mourning was over, she started to go to the place where they share their sheep. They call it the sheep sharer. When they say, when Bible says sheep sharer, what it means is there is a certain time, I think it is once in a year, in the old of the Middle East. All these are sheep that have hair, plenty of hair in their body, just like a wool. I don't know if any of you have seen it, I saw it on the television. The goats, they go get plenty of wool, both face, every part of their body. So, once in a year, they will go and scrape those wool. That is what they use in doing clothes, those days. That is what they mean by sheep shear. Shear the sheep, the, the wool out of their body. Sharp hallelujah. Did you understand that now? So when it was the time to go and remove wool from their from the body of their sheep, so he decided to go to meet his friend. Judah's wife died, and Judah was comforted, and he went in unto he went up unto his sheep shearer to Tamar. He went to Tamar to share his sheep, and his friend here, the Abulamites, both of them, they always do things together. So as the news that got to Tamar that your father-in-law is coming to share his sheep. Amen? To remove the skin of the sheep. So, uh, by because of her prophecy, prophetic gift, she knew that if the man is coming, since the wife had died, if she decides to pretend to be a high lord, the man must come to her. She saw everything on the revelation. So she now removed her widow garment and started to dress up like a harlot. In the land of Kenya, there's a certain way the harlot used to dress. Harlot that have been dedicated, uh, dedicated to the god of Ashanti. The god is serving, the god of Ashanti. There's a harlot that are serving those gods. Any person that come, can come and have a affair with them. She started to dress up like that as sit in the way where Judah will come and pass. I know most of you are not understanding me. Can I say it again? Are you understanding me? If there's any of you that is not understanding, just please say it now. So when Judah was coming to pass through that road, where he's going to share his sheep, the woman had changed, removed her widow garment, and dressed up like a prostitute, and use something, a veil, to cover her face and sit down like a woman that is looking for a man. And before this time, she had been told that the children you are going to give birth to, in future to come, a great king and a messiah is going to come out among your children. Amen. So because of that, she was so desperate to make sure that she had her children. Then, on that very day, when Judah was about to pass, he saw very beautiful and very neat. He decided to approach her. I have an affair with you. The woman said yes. 
But what are you going to give me? He said, okay, when I finish having an affair with you, I will send you a small boat. He said, okay, what will you give me before the gold will come? For me to know that you are actually send me that gold. He said, your necklace. Then your walking stick. And I'll not take the time on the hand. Just like this one. Not be my own. Though. Hallelujah. And he said, okay, if that is what you need, I will give you. And she gave those three things, which is the mark of his identity. Because like in the place, is being worn by great men of those days. So those are the way you used to know great men of the East. And those things are known to have been that of Judah because Judah was a great man among them. He was a very rich and successful man. So she, he foolishly relieved those things to the woman just to have an affair with her once. And the woman, he had an affair and the woman kept those things. Amen? That is where we have stopped. So I continue from there. 19. And she arose away and lay by and lay by her veil from her and put on the garment of her widowhood. And Judah sent the king by the hands of his friend Adulamite to receive his pledge from the woman from the woman's hand, but he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the hallow that was openly by the wayside? And he said, There was not hallow in this place. 22. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also, the men of that place that were was the men of that of the place said that there was no highlight in this place. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this key, and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar, the daughter's in law, had played the high road, and also, behold, she is with a child by hold on. And Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be born. And when she was brought forth, she said to her father in law, saying, By the mouth, these are, am I with child? And she said, Design, I pray thee. Whose are these? And the signet, and the bracelet, and the staff. And Judah acknowledged them and said, She has been more righteous than I, because that I gave her not to Sheila, my son, and he knew her again no more. 27. I came to pass in time of travel. That behold, and he came to pass when she travelled, that the one put out his hand, and the midwife took it and bound it upon, and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And he came to pass, he drew back his hand, that behold, his daughter came out, and he said, How hast thou broken forth this bridge? Be appointed. Therefore, his name was called Phalet. And after walking out his brother, the scarlet thread was the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zara. Hallelujah. So I would have an affair with her on that very day. Both of them left. And the Taman I went to and changed back to her widowhood garments and remove that of her, the high lot. 
Then when Judah go, he sent his friend to go and give the small goats, small sheep or the about to the prostitute, that is the high lord. When the friend got there, he did not see any high lord. He started to ask people, there's a high lord. Everybody in the said, there's never a high lord in this place. No high lord has ever sat here. Then I was ashamed. He said, please, let us leave it like that. We can go with those things he carry. So that, yes, he went to see those things. And when the woman looked for those things, he could not see them. And angel Gabriel discovered that that woman is about to be killed. And the seed of the woman is about to go. And the Messiah will not come. Amen. And King David will not come because the Messiah must come from the lineage of King David. And King David must come from the lineage of uh, Judah. So in the Gabriel, that way, I will extort those things. I went and put it where the woman kept them. And when the woman came out that time, he was surprised where she had been looking for ever since more than 20, 30 times. Those things were properly kept. She now took them and sent it by her ministry, that is through a message, to go and show it to Judah. And said, the person that owns these things is the one that prayed at me. Amen? So when Judah saw those things, he discovered that those are his personal belongings, his staff of office, that is the work he seek. He knows it very well. His president, that is his man of identity, and the, this thing he put in his hand. Then he now confessed that, please, this pronouncement of death upon this woman should be shaved should be stopped because he was part of the cause that made that woman to behave like a high in order to bear children. And he repented and said the woman is even more righteous than himself. Hallelujah. So that was how the death that was supposed to kill that woman was advanced. Amen. So in the process of time for that woman to be delivered, she was conceived of a twins. And the twins, they are boys. And the two boys were not dragging for whom we come out first. Because whoever that come out first is the one that is going to be bear the name that is going to the Messiah is going to come out from. So the junior one quickly overtake the senior one inside the womb and stretch out his hand. And when the Lord saw, saw the hand, he said, ah, this is the senior. You quickly tie a rope on the hand. And as he was about to push himself out, the senior man dragged him back. <laughs> Hallelujah.